So today we're looking at a uh, prototype and mock-up of Night Sky from Brainstone Toys. So first of all, looking at the box, I can just show you the front of the box at the moment. Uh, and you can see all the imagery there, but also this is gonna be in six languages. So that's English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, and Dutch. And that applies not only to the box, but and all the safety information and battery information, but also the instruction leaflet. So I've got a mock-up of the instruction leaflet here, and this will just sort of like concertina together to produce a, le uh, uh, a leaflet. But when you open it out on the reverse, You've actually got here a, a pictorial diagram of the uh, solar system with the, the sun at the centre and then Neptune at the far end of the uh, solar system. So that's opposed to that's going to be 740 by 210 millimetres, 740 wide, 210 tall. Uh, another thing with the instructions is that it will also contain a secret code and this will gi give the child access to complementary uh, educational information about this product, Night Sky. So I'll just put this over here. Uh, when you open the box, you'll first of all have the projector. Again, this will have Night Sky actually printed on here, like it shows on the box. You'll also have these four little um, plastic compartments, and in those, or little wallets I would call them really, and inside of those, you've got the uh, four image discs, because what this is gonna project is actually four images. One is gonna be a, a, a pictorial image of the solar system. Another one is constellations with names. Uh, then there's going to be like a starlight or a starburst. And actually that shows 20,000 stars. It was a, a picture taken in Hawaii of the night sky. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, and then also the, there's going to be an image of the moon as well. So the way that we actually load this up is there's a little tray here. And if I just take the tray out, you can see how it is. And then I grab hold of one of the discs and I'll just take that here and just show you the disc there. You can see, see the image hopefully on that disc. So this one is the solar system. And then you slot it into the disc holder like so and put it inside the projector. Okay, now there's a switch here where I switch the projector on and off. And then there's also a lens cap. And actually, I don't know, you can, might even be able to see that, I can see that the uh, the image is projecting onto the inside of the lens cap. So I take that off and then we, we can actually position the projector in different ways. So I'll be able to point it at a wall or I'll be able to point it at a ceiling. Now, obviously at this moment in time, we can't see a lot because we've uh, we've got the lights on. But what I'm going to do now is turn the lights out and we'll uh, show you what the projection looks like. What I can tell you about that projection before we do that though, is it's absolutely superb. It's it's pin sharp. Uh, it's one of the best performing projectors I've seen. And something that you'd expect to pay a lot more money for than you are going to for Night Sky. So we'll turn the lights out now, and then we can have a look at the projections. This is the uh, solar system disc. And I'm actually got the uh, projector positioned about half a meter away from the wall, and it's currently projecting a circle round about a meter diameter. But of course, we can get it up to three and a half meters, but we've done it like this for the sake of the camera. And it would maintain the same quality. I think it looks absolutely superb. I was looking at this earlier on the ceiling, three and a half meters, and it was brilliant. So this is an image of the night sky taken uh, in Hawaii, in fact. And you can see, look at all those stars. What an amazing sky that is. And again, you can see how clear the picture is. Notice also that it's rotating, which it, it, it does for all the image discs. So we've moved on to an image of the moon and it's gently rotating there. I think that looks superb. The image is brilliant. It's a really good photograph. One thing to note is that if we left this running for uh, 30 minutes, then it would just shut off automatically. So we've now moved on to the constellation disc and you can see all these constellations in, in a night sky background with nebula in the background. And you'll see that they're all named as well, which is helpful. And it's gently rotating again. I can see Sagittarius down there and Scorpius. 
Parvo. So that's Night Sky from Brainstone Toys.